um lr ko namaskar uh, i think this is my first time ever addressing the press and the media in bangalore and kannada cinema has been doing so well these days and i cannot wait to debut in the industry and do a film in kannada the language uh, i will do my best to learn the language and speak it as soon as i can uh, but i am very glad that somehow uh, i am still debuting with this film even when it's a dubbed version the original version is in hindi but uh, when i just saw the trailer i think the dub is amazing uh, special applause to the dubbing artists who dubbed for all of us if i may say so i truly think that the dubbing is even better than my original voice in hindi i genuinely felt i had goosebumps when i watched the trailer and we watched it twice and both the times i had goosebumps so i think she has done a phenomenal job uh, and kudos to her for that and um, yeah for the rest i am very excited uh, more nervous um, because this is a very dark raw gritty and very difficult film to watch Uh, I personally had a very tough time shooting it. Even sir had a difficult time behind the scenes. There were so many uh, scenes where we both got emotional. The whole crew got emotional when we were shooting, because uh, I cannot even begin to imagine what happens. Her whole life changes, and this is a story of survival. And I truly hope that when the film releases and people watch it, it gives them the power, the hope to believe that you can come out of it. if there is presence of mind comes if it comes into play at the right time so that is i think the message that we are trying to give through the film and thank you so much for coming out here and uh, yeah thank you sorry nirbhaya case is it based on that uh i remember when the nirbhaya case happened it unfortunately happened on my birthday 16 december Yeah, I was in college, and uh, there was a college festival happening. December is a very jolly time of the year, Christmas, New Year's, and we had our college festival. So I was in the local train uh, going to the festival, and the news broke out about the Nirbhaya case, and I started crying. All my friends, we were all together in the local train. Everybody started crying because of how I have goosebumps as I speak about it because of how gut wrenching that whole incident is. I think it has changed all of India because the whole nation came together in solidarity with the victim, and there were so many movements that happened post that. And uh, yeah, that is something that I can never forget because it happened on my birthday, and every single birthday it serves as a reminder of what happened and what still continues to happen. in this country and that women are still not safe no matter how much we progress that big step not one many big steps still need to be taken and yeah i'm just hoping that that change comes soon uh, i feel like we can begin with imparting self defense lessons uh, making that a part of school curriculums at least once in two weeks once in a month there should be a seminar that's conducted i personally do many of those we have our karate academy where i stay in kalyan mohan's planet we host a lot of these self defense seminars and i have always said that i am more than willing to contribute and be a part of a movement that helps to bring about a change in the society and helps empower women so how challenging was it uh extremely challenging because uh, the first 3 days yani uh, for any film it takes around 2 to 3 days to sink into the character to gel with the crew so the first 2 3 days i thought eh, i can do this i have done better things i have done difficult things in life but i <laughs> i was i was wrong i wasn't prepared for it because oh my god there were 35 days almost of shooting in the car non stop maintaining continuity because we shot from scene number 1 to scene number 100 in that order so as the film progressed my mental trauma and my emotional trauma also progressed with it because um, it's a very raw film like i said we have shown how much a person breaks mentally when something like this happens so i remember shooting after the shooting ended it took me a, a few months to fully come out of it it has been an extremely dark but a traumatic experience but at the same time i've learned so much about myself as an actor and most importantly as a woman i've had a great experience so a lot of memories from the shoot any message from this film to society especially girls uh i think from what i can see in the trailer i don't want to give away a spoiler about the film but from what i can see in the trailer uh, it talks about survival it talks about the fact that so this is what i say when i impart self defense seminars and trainings i always say that 
in situations like this no matter how trained you are you can be an olympian you can be a boxer you can be a wrestler but when something like this happens the mind stops working your whole body stops responding you just go in a state of extreme panic because you never know if you will even make out of this situation alive they might kill you they might do whatever they want with you and discard you like like a piece of garbage so your whole body stops responding to that uh, because i'm a professional fighter so what happens is when i go into my fighting tournaments and the round 1 begins now i have trained for this all my life but there is this thing called lactic acid that releases in the entire body and you start feeling your muscles going numb because there is so much pressure there is so much stress of winning that gold medal and that is still up in a positive direction i cannot even imagine what happens when things go down the drain and it's it's life threatening so that is when i say your muscle memory comes into play how much you have trained in your life how much you have practiced a uh, certain moves how strong you are physically because that strength physically enables you to be strong mentally also and most importantly it is all here all the courage i hope i i mean i feel that when all that is clubbed along with the presence of mind and the right course of action there is still hope already won national award for your performance sir. yes sir what made you to uh, accept the script or director i think it was an amalgamation of both the script and the director because when i first met sir uh, this kind of a movie to be written uh, by a man you know is a, is a big deal because he truly understood what a woman feels and to understand that was an automatic given that he has the depth to understand how a woman feels in a situation like that so that was an instant connect for me and i feel like we both feel very passionately about this project and this subject and the society and what happens with women uh, on the whole so i connected with him on a on a large scale and then the script was amazing when i first read the script i could not put it down so that is what made me say yes to it and also i think it's a very important topic and it sends out a very important message with the society needs to see i know it's a very difficult watch it's going to be a hard film to sit through but it is a must so ee rate survival bage enadru pre study maadi uh, did i yes sir you have studied uh, before uh, doing this movie um have you studied the rules of the story myself i mean honestly this is going to be a very sad thing what i'm going to say but i feel like one doesn't even need to study rape survival stories or rape stories because of just how often it happens in this country <clears throat> every time i i look at the news i see so many notifications of it happening to barely a few months old baby a two year old baby a boy a girl an old lady to everybody so much assault such dangerous things keep happening to women and i have friends i am a woman we have all experienced it in some or the other ways um we have all experienced it i always get emotional when i talk about it because this is something that is uh it takes a lot of courage to speak about it takes a lot of vulnerability to speak about and everybody has experienced it every woman has experienced it some people don't even know when it happened maybe they were like 3 years old going to kindergarten maybe something happened they do not know that but uh yeah it came the performance came from a very personal space inside of me that is why it's it's so real so i did not need to do a study for that i'm a woman and i can i feel that pain 24 into 7 even today when i walk on the street or when i'm going back home late even during the day there is always that sense of panic there is always that sense of of fear oh will i get home safe should i send my dad a message saying on the way i'll send him my cab location this that that is always something we all women everybody here will relate we always think about that so it did not require a special study for it i just uh, embraced the role as a woman that i am and it happened yes i'll just add to what you had asked so this this film is not necessarily about rape okay it, the film is about what happens before the headline happens you know what you read in the newspaper is the act such and such thing happened such and such only, location and all that only the conclusion only the conclusion you know the the idea behind you you also sir asked about the nirbhaya thing this is not directly inspired by nirbhaya case uh, 
my my but nirbhaya was a trigger to start thinking about the script because my uh, my uh, at that time everyone was shocked i was also shocked uh, i was living in us i did my filmmaking from us so i had just come back to india and few months later this happened so i was really really stunned i i wrote posts on facebook also i don't know how to feel uh, if i enjoy uh, a cookie i feel guilty you know um even while talking now because it really shook me uh, not see we have heard rape about rape news we have heard that particular thing was this, those other acts they did which are horrendous how could somebody even think see i am not saying you can understand rape but rape there is some sexual power thing going on right but what about this other thing what kind of anger is it inserting a rod and all that who are these people what what kind of thinking what environment do they come from that's why you see <coughs> when <coughs> excuse me when she gets when she snatched inside the car the 90% of the film is inside the car so the audience is trapped with the girl you cannot look away there is no other se second story line there is no track to cut to you must feel what she feels and you saw those dialogues they are double meaning dialogues on the surface they are not bad he's just talking about chicken and murgi and all that you know but when you put a girl in there you get the context so so the film is not about rape per se the film is about how men look at women he says she is my birthday cake and you will cut it first you know men talk like that we all know between men men talk like this things are changing for good but i also we have all also men are also part of same culture right we are not come from different planet we are also part of the same culture only and we are also growing as as we are also understanding this is not right this kind of comment is not right in our office to, to tell a double meaning joke in the presence of a woman is not right you know many other things we have heard you know so we are also getting sensitive to the fact so what i did was uh, i i put all this cultural this thing all the four men in the car represent four different types of men in the society there are two brothers the younger one is the clear antagonist who's the idea it comes from pawn and all that the elder brother without giving too much away of the film uh, they represent different kind of men and and the thing with ritika's character sakshi uh, i did not want a filmy character like suddenly in second half you know she starts fighting and that's throughout she remains a normal everyday girl you know we have also heard these things like how uh, society blames the girl or the woman you know she must have been drunk that's why it happened to her she must have been wearing revealing clothes or short skirt that's why it happened to her she must have been walking alone in the dark street that's why it happened to her so i deliberately wrote a character who is fully dressed she is in broad daylight on a bus stop even then she gets snatched because these things happen so so the film on has many layers where it makes uh, observations rather than taking a stance you know uh, on the if if you, if an audience doesn't want to engage in all these issues it's a thriller it will work as a thriller but if, if you if, even if you watch second time the trailer you'll start getting how that how that guy says what will you do working in the call center every line every dialogue has been thought he says uh, you will call call people okay i i'll take it will you, will you give me you know what he's talking about 
so the film works on many levels you know it's not just about rape it's not about rape it's about how men look at women and then there are other angles in the film which i don't want to reveal that's when you have to watch the whole film ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇವತ್ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಾಯಿದೆ ನನಗೆ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಕಡಿಮೆ ತಮಿಳ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಮತ್ತು ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಮೂವತ್ತು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಮಾಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೇರಿ ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಎಪ್ಪತ್ತರಿಂದ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಒಂದು ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆರಡು ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮಗೆ ನಾನು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಗೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಟ್ರೈಲರ್ ನೋಡುವಾಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇರೋಂಥ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಅನ್ನೋ ಥರ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಥರ ಕಾಣಿಸಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಹಂಗೆ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೆ ಬಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರು ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಕೇಳೋದಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಗುಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಕೆಲವು ಕಡೆ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಾಮೂಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ತೆಲುಗು ಏರಿಯಾಗಳ ಕಡೆ ತೆಲುಗು ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ತಮಿಳ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ತಮಿಳ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ್ಮೂರು ಸೆಂಟ್ರು ಬುಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು uh you have entered the kannada industry with this cinema in future have you think about uh, kannada full fledged kannada cinema i i i actually love learning languages and i remember my first ever experience in life uh, coming to south india and learning a south indian language and doing a south indian film was my first film iridhi sutra that was in tamil uh i have never spoken tamil in my whole life before that but i love learning languages and i'm very genuinely a, a very a very curious person and i'm very intrigued by culture so when i first saw the script uh my lights went out i was like this is too difficult <laughs> i can't do this but i learned the whole script and uh, uh, this is my first time hearing kannada properly and i can already understand so i'm thinking if i get a good script and i can sit on it and learn the dialogues properly i feel like i'll be able to do a pretty good job speaking the lines because i'm good with the language and i am more than happy to pick it up so if a good kannada script comes uh, i would be willing to do it like maybe an action film or a comedy a romantic comedy or thriller. Uh, I'm open to anything as long as the script packs that punch. So, thank you so much. Okay. Hello, Anna. Madhya Mambi Telugu Namaskara. Inka, this is the first time I've been here. I've been here for Nagara Uchitra, Dr. Vishnu Vardhan Rauruna, face masking up to my Sajid Kureshi sir, cinema. ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಂತಹ ಕೆಲವು ಘಟನೆಗಳನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಸಿ ಬಂದಂತಹ ಚಿತ್ರ ಇನ್ಕಾನ್ ತುಂಬ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ನಟನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಹರಿತಿಕಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಅದನ್ನು ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹರ್ಷವರ್ಧನ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದಾಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ಈ ಮೂಲಕ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಸದಾ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಬೆನ್ನಲುಬಾಗಿ ನಿಂ ನಿಲ್ಲುವಂತಹ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಾಜಿದ್ ಕುರೇಶ್ ಸರ್ಗೂ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದಾಗಲಿ ಈ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓಡಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ವೆಂಕಟಗೌಡರು ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಇದು ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆಗಳ ಭಾಷೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ವೆಂಕಟಗೌಡ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದಾಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಬಂದು ಸಿನಿಮಾ ನೋಡಲಿ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಈ ಮೂಲಕ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ತಿಂಗ್ ಮರ್ತಿದೆ ನಮಗೆ ಈ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದ್ರ ಮೂಲಕ ನಾನು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಬಟ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೇಟ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಇದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗಂಥ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ನೀವು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಇಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅವರು ಅವಾಗಿಂದ
ಓಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈ ತರ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಅದು ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಅದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನೀವ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಹೋಗಬಾರ್ದು ಬೇಡ ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕ